Welcome back, Snow. It's been about two or three years and an extra month, but this time it's actually properly proper snow in this time. Got my cat here, got deck. Do you like the snow? I can see your footprints over there where that is. Cool. What's going on guys? My name is Nikon558 and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a review, I mean, do, today we're going to be reviewing the Medicom Mayfex Dark Knight Bank Robber Joker from 2015 or 16. So yeah, um, and also if you just hear a few noises in the background, that's just my cat because he just for some reason he likes to go in and out in my room. And I think he just saw a bit of his tail there, but um, yeah. So anyway, um, let's take a closer look at the accessories and we'll take a closer look at the Joker. So, here, so if he comes with a few accessories, hold on, let me just move down a bit. Uh, so he does come with a few accessories, he comes with a duffel bag. Uh, my cat is literally moving on my phone. Um, so he comes with a duffel bag, um, about three or four interchangeable hands. He comes with a pistol um, with an extended clip, he comes with a mask. And he comes with the Heath Ledger Joker head, which to be honest doesn't really look like Heath Ledger, but the Joker 2.0 one does. And he comes with a pair of fisted hands and a Mayfex stand, which always comes with the Medicon figures. So let's take a look at the duffel bag, which honestly I think looks very amazing. Got the, I, like the, I like the nice dark blue that you get with it. Uh, it doesn't open, it's made out of plastic. Um, and you've got the strap on it as well, which I really like. I like um duffel bags that come with action figures so you, like if you're ever trying to make a bank robber stop motion i highly suggest getting this figure um you, you can see this die about a zip on there which is a there's a few paint defects and there's one right there there's no zips on the other side and then this can just easily go on his shoulder uh you got the trigger finger hand which basically just there's a Hair on that. Uh, that basically looks like a trigger finger hand. No, just a pointing hand, I meant. Let me just see if it focus. There we go, focused a bit. Hold on. There we go, it's focused. So it's basically just pointing, but if you do bend the finger into the into the gun, it basically just looks like you're on. Yeah, well, basically it looks like he's actually shooting the gun. Next up, we have the... Oh, hold on a second. We have the pistol with the extended clip, sorry if you can't really see it very well. Um, I do like the, the the silver, the black, and this extended clip, which looks like the ceramic pistol from GTA. Um, also, if you, if you do ever want to try and make the bank robber joker, you can just like buy the ceramic pistol and get the extended clip in it, because it looks like the pistol from yeah, it's really cool. Uh, put you back down. Oh, I just show you over there. Uh, here is this clown mask, which you can't put it on the figure. It's basically just a display. It's basically just a really hard plastic. Uh, the paint on it looks amazing. Let me just move it forward a bit. Let's see if that's like, there we go. I like the bloom, which is cool. Sorry if this hair's not. <sighs> Hold on, think. Scroll the hairs off. Sorry about the hairs, because, uh, yep, so you got the, um, it just came online. Uh, I've got my Xbox on, so if you hear any noises, then you know what it is. Um, I like the red on it. Um, is, and you can use the relaxed hands on the Joker to hold it, like how we did in the film at the beginning. Next up, we're going to look at the, um, uh, we're going to look at the Heath Ledger Joker head, which, to be honest, in my opinion, doesn't look like Heath Ledger. This, this was made around 2015 or 16. This does go on the figure much easily. I, I like the, the black on it, which, yeah. The red, there's not really, ba it's barely any red on the scars on, like, these sides. But there's a little bit of red on the lips. Uh, the green is a bit too dark. The hair's like slowly coming off. I think that was, I think that was in the film. I can't remember, but I remember in the interrogation scene, his face, the face paint, the face uh, like well, the, the face paint of the white will come off. I don't know about the black, but yeah. But on the Hot Toys version, that one would um like 
that as well you can like completely see Heath Ledger just a little bit just a bit of it is just covered in like face paint but yeah and finally with the accessories we've just got about two more I don't know if I can just get one comes with a pair of fisted hands which we'll put on the figure later you can give, you can give any other figures a fist bump and here is a, another hand well it's the same fist hand but yeah it does have like, a, and it does have like a leather glove-ish look on it. Just see if I'll focus. Yep. So it has like a leather like squeeze coming to it. If that made any sense. And last but not least, of the accessories, it does come with a few more, but which we'll look at that in a minute. It comes with the display stand, which every Mayfex figure comes with. Anyway, now that we look at the accessories, let's look at the Joker. So we're just gonna move him into the front. Excuse me. Just zoom in a bit. I'm just trying to get the camera angle right. There we go, so we're just moving them forward a little bit. So that's cool. So here's the, here's the clown mask, which which, he, which doesn't come with an, on the figure. It's the normal Heath Ledger head, which I think is cool. It has the, it does, they did make the strap around it, which is really nice. How they did that. The paint and on the hair and everything is just the same the same. Skin tone is nice. Um I like the shirt and the bit of the jacket. Does work out really well. You got the, his hands. You can see a bit of his shirt coming out on the on the end of his arms. And you got the um the what every like male blazer has like the the like the cuts in there. If that made any sense. You got his trousers, which are cool. If you're wondering why there's a bit of glue on there, because the toe actually came off mine after like a few weeks, so I just glued it back on, which doesn't make any problem with me. My friend's about to die, but I really wanted to record this video, so there's his toes right there. So he's articulate, and also I'm gonna swap out the head. So the head comes off really easy. I just pop the head off camera, but I'll just do it on. Pops off really easily. And just stick the Joker head on. And that looks um, quite cool on the figure. If they would update, I, I, I hope they make like a um, a 2.0 version of this Joker. That would be cool. So then it would look like more of Heath Ledger. And also what I wish they would do. Um, I wish like under the blazer they'd paint like the purple strap. Where um, Joker painted the tip where like, um, I know the cat's in here. Where Joker um, had the the purple string on the underneath his blazer, and then would have the um, and, and then he had like on the tear gas, where he gassed out the uh, bank, which was cool. I wish they would do that. I like just a little bit of plastic at the end. A bit of hair in my mouth. Anyway, so yeah. Anyway, let's get into the articulation of this figure. I feel, actually, I wanted this to be the thumbnail. Just do that for a few seconds. Yep, there we go, right. So we just zoom out a bit. Actually, just leave it in. Hold on. And then just move the camera down a bit and just zoom out. And then we'll try on the accessories when we're done. So the head goes up this far and it goes down like that. And then we move side to side. It does have a little bit of head pivot, but if we take off, hold on, if we take off the Joker head, then we put on the bank rubber one, the head. Uh, doesn't really go up much because of the hair on the back. It goes down a little bit and it moves side to side. Head pivot does help as well. His arms can move out and they can move forward. They can move backward. Uh, it does have a bicep swivel, uh, double jointed elbows, so wrist rotation like that, and his wrist move up and down and they can move side to side. Um, he has a diaphragm joint, which is cool. He can bend it forward. And you can bend it a bit back. He has a waist joint right there. It doesn't have an ab crunch, but you can use the waist and the ab crunch to make it just bend a little bit forward. Um, it can kick forward. It can kick back, which is amazing. Uh, he doesn't have a. Bet he has an upper thigh cut. He has double jointed knees. His um, feet move up and down. He does have a toe. Oh, didn't mean to His feet moves up and down. He does have a toe, and his, um, does have a. He does like kind of have a toe drop. But he can't really bend it in. As you can see, you can barely move it in, but with other action figures, you can um, you 
can just hold on a second. Yeah, with other action figures, you can just like bend it back and forward as well. And yeah, with the other um, hand, the, no toe, I meant that did pop off for me when I was going through some accessories. Oi, stop it. My cat's trying to get under my bed, which is, which won't work out very well, which is not working out very well. Sorry about that. Anyway, so let's get on to the accessories. Let's put the accessories on him, and this video is about 10 minutes long, so my phone will die in a minute, which I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, so you can put the duffel bag on him. You can just put it on like that. Move. I'd say move his arm back. Like, just try and move his arm back if you can. And put the... Try and, slip, try, try and put the thumb where the, the strap is. Which is cool, I guess. Um, and with the interchangeable hands are really easy. You can just pull out the hand. I'd say be careful when you first get this figure because the peg is so small. Let me just see. The, yep. The peg is quite small. You want to be careful because Mayfex figures back then, the packaging, like sometimes the figures would break like some, like straight out of the packaging. Like I had a, I had a Mayfex um, a Batman years ago from a Batman versus Superman. And I was, and then like I had, then I was going home and I had, and I had it in my swimming bag because, um, like when I was in like year seven or eight, because, um, I won't, I won't, I won't explain why, um, because it's, it's because I don't, I just don't want to say it. Um, because like, and then, yeah, and then when I opened it, the wrist peg was broke into the, um, into the hand. But yeah, here he looks like, here, here's what he looks like with the pistol. Again, you can't really, um, fit the peg inside. If you hear Paranus, it's one of my cats again. Let me just get the, uh, the black of his nose. That looks really cool though. I'm digging that a lot. Anyway, let's get to the fisted hands. And... We didn't really use his fists much. Uh, yeah. And also, I wish he. And also, I wish he came with some some grenades, or um, or tear gas. That, um, that you can like open with the like. Or you can open with the duffel bag. Uh, yeah. So, and I won't show the Mayfex stand because actually I'll just show a bit of it just for the content. But yeah, let me just put his duffel bag back on, and I'll put him back on display in a minute. Well, I'll put it on when I've finished the recording, I can, then we can come up with a conclusion, and I can go on with my day, and you guys can go on with your day as well. Um, Alright then, so let's come up with a conclusion, shall we? So, I like this figure. <coughs> um, I wish they would update the Heath Ledger head just a bit more. Because um, we need, because like, there was a 1.0 Joker which had two heads, which didn't really look like him. But Mayfex, Medicom, went back and painted, well, and then remade the Joker figure. Just added a few different accessories, or a few new accessories, should I say. And, yeah. So, yeah. So, like I said in the last video, I did order the Mayfex uh, Miles Morales from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, that is. Coming around like between the 26th or near the end of February. So when that arrives, I'll mess about with that a little bit. See how it is. I'll record it. Might be on the same day or maybe tomorrow. Well, on, may, might be on the same day or maybe the next day. But yeah, so then, so I'll be, so I'll review the Mayfex John Wick Chapter 2 John Wick. Then I'll move on to the um, uh, 2 point Joker. Then I can review the, um, and then I'll review the, I do have a Rebel Tech Spider Man I want to review, so I'll review that. Then, hopefully, around then, the Mayfex Miles Morales would arrive. Then I can um, show that to you off. And I want to get, and I'm planning on getting the Peter B. Parker from Mayfex. I'm not sure about the Gwen Stacy, but hopefully, I can, I can get the Peter B. Parker, which he won't come on Amazon. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Of course, bell notification so you wouldn't miss another upload. I'm planning on up uploading quite a bit for this year because like the past few years I haven't barely uploaded so I want to upload more for you guys and um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you like if you really like this video like the video subscribe to the channel if you are brand new and with bell notifications also you wouldn't miss another upload I love you guys and I'll speak and I 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.